Clamping panels with a skin of curvomatic and ratchet straps onto a one-part mold works perfectly for convex shapes. Panels with flat sections can also be pressed with a one-sided mold, but these do require additional clamping. Two-part molds allow a variety of shapes to be formed. Our beams are easier to use but wooden beams give the same high quality results. Curvomatic also makes a great flat press if you have slightly convex formers on both sides. Design your formers by drawing your panel full size or with CAD. Draw simple curves symmetrically around a center line. First draw your panel with its cover sheets. Draw the outside of the two layers of curvomatic, 35 mm from the panel. Draw a line at 20 to 30 degrees from the tangent at the end of the clamping skin. Mark a position at least 250 mm along this line from the skin to allow for the ratchet. Now draw in your beams with the 250 mm mark 60 mm from the top of the beam. With our beams you need to add 30 mm to the bottom of the former. You can also use the rollers to make the formers smaller if required. With two part molds design your formers so that pressure is distributed evenly through the pressing surfaces. This L shape for example. Set up with the pressing surfaces at 45 degrees the pressure acts on both surfaces equally. To reduce the size of the formers you can also clamp at an angle to the beams. The clamps must run parallel to the even pressing angle. Cut your formers from 18mm board. MDF is usually suitable but it can be damaged by multiple uses. Use plywood for multiple use molds and when using the 25 degree extrusion, as the extreme pressure can damage the board. For regular curved panels, drill pilot holes in the center of the formers to attach the curvomatic skin. When using the modular kit at 8 and 10 feet you will need blocks on either side of the former to take the skin fixings. With curvomatic beams the formers drop into the channel, and are fixed with a grub screw. For wooden beams we recommend using 46 by 90 mm hardwood. Drill a series of 6 mm holes in the beams for attaching different size formers, with one hole in the center to screw into the pilot hole in the former. Then counterbore to a depth of 50 mm. A 100 mm screw should be able to extend 60 mm into the former. Drill a series of 12 mm holes to attach the ratchets. These should be around 25 mm apart and 30 mm up from the bottom. With wooden beams, mark and drill pilot holes to fix the formers to the beams. Use 100 mm screws. For S shapes, mark and drill the center pilot hole for the skin fixing, at the change of shape position. Curvomatic should always be configured as solid anywhere the shape of the panel changes from convex to concave. or from curved to flat section in the case of L-shaped panels. For L-shapes, the pilot holes for the center skin fixing should also be where the shape changes from flat to curve. With all double hollow kits you must first assemble the short lengths in pairs and insert a screw into the center hinge screw port on both ends. The sections must hinge freely. Assemble your double hollow kit at 2 foot long, by laying out enough components to make half of your mold skin. Slide them together and insert hinge screws into any empty hinge screw ports. The outside edge should have two full lengths as the forces here are greater than in the center sections. The outside and center extrusions should be drilled to fix the skin to the formers. Repeat this process to complete the mold skin. The clamping skin is constructed in the same way but without drilled sections and with the addition of one extra full length on the outside edges. A double hollow configuration, meaning two gaps between the full lengths is suitable for most laminating work, but a single hollow setup, with only one gap, is better when applying thin surface veneers. To turn your double hollow kit into a single hollow kit just remove half of the short lengths. This will however reduce the working width of your kit by around a third. To reconfigure from 2 foot to 4 foot in length. 
Remove the screws, and slide off enough extrusions to make up half the width that you require, then slide out the 6-inch lengths from one end. Take another half section, and join the two end-to-end, -end by sliding across the 6-inch lengths. Repeat this process to make the other side of the skin. Tighter radius sections are made using our two smaller extrusions in conjunction with your 185mm radius kit. These are assembled in a half overlay pattern from 1 and 2 foot lengths and are fixed by the adjacent 4 foot extrusions from the joining kit. Slide the drilled 4 foot sections from the joining kit onto the edges to finish. To assemble your modular double hollow kit at 8 feet long. Lay out enough 2 foot and 6 inch lengths to make half your mold skin. Slide all the components together with the 4 foot drilled section from the joining kit on the outside edge and then slide the drilled 6 foot and 2 foot sections on so that the joints in the long sections overlap. Repeat this process for the other side. Join the two halves together with the remaining 6 foot and 2 foot drilled sections. Have the joint between the joining kit sections at opposite ends. The clamping skin is assembled using a similar method. Use the non-drilled lengths from the joining kit, and insert an extra run of 2 foot lengths on the outside edges, to make the top skin wider than the mold skin. Place the skin onto the formers, and insert all the center fixing screws. Now position and fix the blocks to attach the ends of the joining kit. Pilot drill and fix the edges. Mark the center of your laminate pack and position pins at 10 mm to the side of that point. The pins need to protrude 5 mm from the pack. Place the pack onto the mold to do a dry run, with the pins sitting into the gap at the side of the center extrusion. Hold the top skin in place with pistol clamps during clamping. The clamping skin should never overhang the workpiece as it will deform the edge. Remove the necessary number of extrusions so that the skin does not overhang the work. It is advisable to protect your curvomatic with masking tape, especially when using waterproof glues. Apply your glue only to one side of each laminate and use as little as you can. The surface only needs to be wet for lamination to work fully. Use cover sheets on both sides of your laminate. Hold the top skin in place with pistol clamps. If you do not tighten the ratchets evenly from both sides, the clamping skin will be dragged to one side. To avoid this causing a problem, keep an eye on the position of the pistol clamps, as they will move with the clamping skin. Tighten the ratchets accordingly to pull the skin back into its correct position. To make sure that your mold is not twisted, you should sight across the bottom of the extrusions. For two-sided pressing, insert the nails through the laminates at the contact point with the mold, and place the top part onto the laminates. Feed the straps through the rollers, and put both ends through the ratchet handles. Tighten the ratchets evenly from both sides. The system will work with very little pressure if the setup is correct. When clamping flat sections with beams, you must always clamp to holes in the formers or you risk deforming the panel. This clamping method is also used for U-shapes. Check out our other videos for more in-depth tips and techniques. We hope you enjoy your Curvomatic experience.